I'm here at Festival of the Arts. This is our second time coming back. We're here opening day and now we're going to see how the lines are, check out food because the first time we came we couldn't get in any food. Let's go see. Looks like they're doing a different painting this time. They switch it out every few months. I guess once it's complete. All right, the figment popcorn buckets are currently unavailable. We're going to get the tomato soup though. It doesn't look like there's much of a line, so let's go get that. Oh, look at that cake. And then you can see the pop tarts right there. And then all of the soups now come in the poppies little can. It's cool. Hi guys, thank you. I'm going to try this. Good? That's good. Just so I remember it. Sandwich is good, the soup is good. There's always a good choice. Can't go wrong. So we're getting the deconstructed key lime pie and it's like a key lime pie taken apart and put back on the plate. It looks very fancy. The key lime is right there. That looks like the graham cracker crust. Fruit. I guess this is the merengue. Or maybe that is. I don't know. We'll have to try it to see. This tastes like the lime piece. Let's see what this is. It, it maybe it's all the same. A little thicker. This is very light. A little thicker. So already got the sourness. This is like. Is that hard? Yeah, it's hard. It's like almost like the chewy. I don't know what it is. Candy. This doesn't taste that good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember this in Key Lime Pie. Okay. It's like plain. Try the graham cracker part. The, so far, the white piece doesn't taste like Key Lime Pie at all. But this, let's see. Yeah, this tastes good. So you got to get this, and this, and this to make a little Key Lime Pie. Basically the way that they have it originally. <laughs> it tastes like a Key Lime Pie. So this makes you basically you have to do you, you have to make it work. You have to work for it. So this is the Encanto booth. They say the food is really good here. Chorizo and potato empanada, spicy ayaco soup, passion fruit mousse. Hmm. I'm not gonna wait in the line though. There's a lot of people here because they're looking to see Jasmine. It's a socially distanced meet and greet, but still you get to see a princess. So there's a lot of people here today. It's President's Day weekend. Apparently Magic Kingdom is even worse. The lines were crazy to get in there today. All the parks, all the parks are at capacity this weekend. At least that's what it's reported on Instagram. Yeah, there's a lot of people. I anticipate as it gets darker, it'll get more packed, but there's definitely a lot more people than usual. Tonight is Disney on Broadway, and it looks like it's Michael James Scott, one of the characters from Aladdin on Broadway. He played the genie and Kissy Simmons. So it's 5.30 is the first show, and then 6.45, and then 8 p.m. It's like if you're in a resort. Yeah. <laughs> the beach club. Yeah, and that one's Grand Floridian, so they have it with different yacht club, beach club. Another character meet and greet. So at the beginning of the festival, they had a lot of them that were like the hidden Mickeys, and now they're all gone. We are in the Mexico Pavilion. This is one of my favorite pavilions because of the vibe here. And it's kind of packed. We were going to go to the tequila place, but there's a long line. And there's also a line for it looks like the attraction. So a lot of people here. Look at these new ears though. $29.99. Albrijes? Shoulder plush? I don't know if I'm saying that right. But there's a magnet inside and he sits on your shoulder. He's kind of cute. This is the other one, a dragon. These are colorful. These are really cute for kids. Mexico Pavilion. What we did got you get? guacamole with nachos. And I got a bunch of sides like rice, beans. Something to hold me over. We always sit here in these tables. We walk it from the Mexican Pavilion over here to sit at these tables. Right by Disney Traders. So it's less crowded over here. Yeah. And you have a pretty view of the lake. Yeah. Look at those people, they're working there. They have like headphones yeah, on and headsets. They're probably they talking to the people on the other side, saying we're coming. They're doing some coordination, maybe for the show tonight? They have to do that every time? I don't know. Hmm. They need four of them? Yeah, they're doing a lot of coordination there with some big they headsets. Some heavy duty headsets and microphone. Yeah. People are testing Stargate in the center. Because the 
Those, bolt, are the, those are the Stargate testers. The bolt ramp is closed right now, and the water just turned on. So they must be checking for the fireworks show tonight to make sure everything's working. So this is the whole painting, and then the artist is right there. So that's the artist right there, right next to the shot. Looks like he was doing some finishing touches, and then he let us come in and take some photos. I like these because the frame is part of the art. It's a whole piece. Pirates of the Caribbean. Club Cool. This is my first time in Club Cool because it's always packed here. It's very different than the original one. There's one wall of sodas and that's about it. it. Used to be like a little bit more extensive. But basically it's a Coca-Cola store with all of the different types of Coca-Cola from around the world. I heard though that a lot of them don't taste that good. So we're going to try the Sprite and the Beverly. Go, that's the Beverly. Try it the out. Beverly. What do you think? Cool. Okay, now try this one. The Sprite. Oh, I don't try like this. It. Try Sprite. Tastes like Sprite. Tastes like Sprite? Yeah. Oh, this is for... Tr what is this going to be? This is Gal Gardens of the Galaxy. Yeah, that's cool. And this is the entrance to the ride. What is this? I have no idea what it's called. <laughs> Uh, look, it looks monorail. pretty massive. Look at the monorail. So it's supposed to open later on this year. Okay, so that was Festival of the Arts, our day. It was really a nice day. They didn't have a lot of lines for any of the food items, which is great. And much better than we expected during a holiday weekend. So don't be scared of, you know, big three-day weekends. You can definitely still ride all the rides. No, I take that back. You can get the food. The ride lines were really long. So if you want to ride rides, it's not a good weekend to come. But we got to see all the art and eat the food and it was fine. We never waited more than five minutes anywhere. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.